chaos and order. Chaos and order are only ideas of the mind. There is an order that is beyond chaos and order as a concept. There is a greater order that mind simply due to its nature cannot see, understand and perceive. There is an order within and of the totality. And mind simply being a <laughs> creation, mind is something, is an object created by totality and in totality. Mind is an instrument. It's a baby, it's a child of the absolute. So in itself, it doesn't have access to see the whole totality, the whole of creation and the greater order that is beyond this limited view that mind has. Because mind is only a point, a fraction within this dot of consciousness, the window of consciousness that's manifested through you. So, chaos, order, disorder, spontaneity, unknown, all of these terms are only for the mind to navigate this great, great, great isness, the creation that simultaneously manifests through infinite number of beings and minds. At the same time, it's beyond time. So <laughs> if you can't understand or explain things that are happening, you don't have to, and you can't really. And all the attempts of us to explain things may only serve the purpose of us making ourselves comfortable within this vastness and infinity of consciousness. But in itself, they are not true. So that's why we call, we say it's a paradox. There are paradoxes. Um, how can mystics embody these paradoxes? One moment be one person, next moment completely another person. Or how these contrasts can coexist within one being. Or why the sudden change is happening that was completely unexpected and coincidences and uh, synchronicities. What is that? It's all are only the concepts of the mind. <laughs> but there is within any unexplainable event, within any so-called disorder or chaos or things are messy, destruction, within it there is a perfect harmony, there is perfect order, there is perfect peace. For your mind, I don't say you, because you are not the mind, for your mind cannot perceive the whole picture, the bird eye view, that's why we meditate, to zoom out, to go beyond, to go into that silent witness space where everything is, is in perfect balance. It's a deeper depth of the ocean, even the surface of the ocean is messy. And totality knows that to create something, it needs to destroy something. It knows that it needs to confuse the mind in a way to make mind so mind, mind searches it explains things and then it, it 
there are gaps that it can't explain. So it starts to doubt everything in itself and find more paradoxes. And finally, mind is like self-learning machine. Mind realizes that it can't explain everything. And then mind dissolves or consciousness disassociates itself from the mind and stands as a witness, as distant, apparent witness to that which was a mo- called the mind. Before there was identification, before the only one being new was the mind. And now mind popped, for it couldn't explain itself. Its origin and the whole totality and harmony, the greater order within that exists within all the disorder. So truth can never be known and therefore unknown is the fact. Unknown and greater order beyond the order is the fact. Something that cannot be explained. So if you see contradictions which confuse you, perfect, perfect. It just throws more wood into the fire of truth. Yes, that's why there are two principles, Shiva and Shakti, the presence and the dance of manifestation, energy, flow, events, and they never separate, they're always one. And Shakti is chaos. (laughs) <laughs> it's never stable, it's always changing. And witness, Shiva, is always present, it's beyond. And yet they're always one. So if one can realize it and embody this apparent um, oneness of two paradoxes, the two sides, and even go beyond that, then there are no more questions. No more need to explain things or look for harmony or or order on the surface level, on the level of synchronous uh, circumstances and events events and body-mind, the world manifestation. So, do you need to follow a discipline to create an order? Maybe yes. But also, see that things going out of order is inevitable for your mind can never um, preconceive an idea of what's natural what's going to happen next it's all spontaneous unfolding therefore If you create a practice for yourself, which is your pole, your Shiva, your center, where you keep coming back no matter what, this is like creating superficial order within the superficial disorder. And that portal helps to access the order beyond this duality, access the non-dual, perfection and harmony uh, within the unfolding and at the same time if you are more intuitive being and you are following the path of surrender and acceptance of everyone and you are more in tune with the natural flow of the Tao of the life force and you sense the pulse of life within you every moment then you may not even need to create those superficial orders for you always follow the pulse what's needed and you're never following the mind these are two ways to for different beings who have different uh, constitution this one is definitely feminine and very spontaneous and although it tried to create some sort of discipline, mm, 
any kind of restriction would create uh, resistance and more disharmony so it didn't work or worked but it wasn't really natural so whatever approach you take know that it's all on the superficial level and if you're too rigid maybe letting go would be the best for you and following the pulse the intuition the heart being in the moment not being in the mind letting go of preconceived ideas how things should be how you should be how world should be and everything and just be in the witness be the witness naturally or if you're too much invested in the maya then you need to create an order for yourself which is like create a sacred room where you go each morning each evening for yourself only forest backyard trees sit there and access that silence non-dual harmony perfection and maybe it will need to take some it will take some effort in the beginning for through that quote-unquote superficial order that you create some practice you return to you will access that spontaneity and synchronicity and alignment the f- the sense sensing from within this pulse of the universe that eventually you may not need to create those structures for yourself but in the beginning it really helps to sharpen your focus uh, until you completely can let go and merge with the one but you are always the one it's just the mind dissolves so there is no even imaginary distance and separation it never is but it's only imaginary so my guidance for you is honor the self love the self this capital s which is within you which is the light of god the light of consciousness the witness more than anything else and that is the total totality of all things that is the cosmic order and harmony that mind as a little part of this creation of totality cannot understand and perceive so don't trust the mind don't trust the mind it always misinterprets things for each event and each situation contains within itself duality it can something good happens it contains something bad within it as well for anything acquire, acquired will be lost always all pleasure lead to pain all pain lead to pleasure so all loss leads to gain all gain leads to loss eventually so you cannot trust the maya you need to find trust within yourself for oneself that mind is simply not a part of and maya cannot touch it, that place which is not a place so this is i feel has been important talk and share and the energy came very strong especially in this magical forest i just heard these words i need to speak them out to you and may you benefit may you detonate into your true being may your heart open and be filled fully from within from the source of your being and mind becomes still and mind submits to the easiness of what is to the this radiance of the great being within you which is the source of all there is i love you and i trust you that you will follow the guidance and go and sit with yourself and feel the pulse of the universe within you pulse of life force where it's guiding you and start trusting it more and more which means follow your heart this beautiful quote 
follow your heart, do what you love, yay! But not on a superficial level, follow your heart, Romeo and Juliet, uh, no. Follow your heart, the spiritual heart, which is the portal to a one single being. The oneness, totality, which is bliss, love, peace, everything you ever wish for. Okay, <laughs> good for now, goodbye. Mwah.